What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel too and want to hit the subscribe button, that would help me out immensely. Continuing our montage of Mark II JCX100 Tour V content. Today we are finally going to be washing and decontaminating the exterior of the Mark II. I mean, honestly, since it's like a white car, light colors, I don't know if this is like a light beige or like some form of silver, but it looks clean in video, but in person, it's just incredibly dirty. We got bird poop, seagull poop. Unfortunately, I have to take the lettering off. I honestly like it, I don't know why. Yeah, very, very dirty. And like I mentioned in my past videos, if you've seen them, we got some clear coat spots that are chipping. So I'm gonna have to be very careful when I'm um, pressure washing and scrubbing. In the last video, we adjusted the rear coilovers. Also, I went ahead and deep cleaned the interior. I did a little bit more the other day. Now I'm just currently ripping out excess stuff that doesn't work and that I do not need. A lot of items and parts the Mark II still needs before I can daily drive them, but I went ahead and ordered the full Project Mew brake overhaul. So we got front and rear rotors, front and rear pads, and stainless steel braided lines, which should be here second week of December. I went ahead and ordered new tires. I just went with some mid-grades. I went with the company Kumo, 225.45 and 235.45. I went ahead and ordered new HIDs. I did go ahead and polish up the driver's side headlight. Made a tremendous difference. In terms of the engine bay, once the exterior is nice and polished, I'm going to just remove pretty much anything that I can. The radiator, the shroud, the clutch fan, all the piping and just clean with like a microfiber and get all the excess like oils that have built up. I mean, look at, look at the fan. It is just caked with oil underneath the upper radiator. Hose two is just full of oil and it's just heartbreaking seeing this beautiful chassis just so neglected. Also went ahead and ordered a OEM gasket kit for the rocker covers. We went ahead and bought Iridium NGK spark plugs, all six. I ordered a Gretti upper and lower silicone radiator hose kit and I also went ahead and ordered a Sard low temp thermostat. My goal is to have the Mark II dailyable, drivable, confident to drive by mid, late September, which is very achievable. I still have to register the Mark II. I'm going to put it under classical car insurance so I can be emissions exempt. Cross my fingers, it all works out. But if it doesn't, I'm going to have to hit the rollers since even though the Mark II is a 1997 and OBD2 was 96 and above, in Japan, there is no OBD2 reader under the dash. I looked at all the forums and I thought it was removed for some reason. It turns out it was removed, but there's like two diagnostic ports for the Japanese electronic machinery that we don't have here in the States. Cross my fingers, everything works out. So very achievable, very feasible. At this time, I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit cooler, just got out of work, relax a little bit, and we'll go ahead and start washing the Mark II. I cannot wait for the transformation. It is finally time for the Mark II's first wash. And man, this thing looks so sick. I can't wait just to get an angle kit and wider wheels. Even with the OEM factory kit, it just looks super aggressive and I love it so much. I wish the camera could pick up how dirty the car actually is so we can get some good before and afters, but 
I'm doing my absolute best, but I cannot wait. So again, we are going to double wash, decontaminate, clean as much as I possibly can in the wheel wells. Do a nice iron remover, try to get any like grit and soot that's been sitting on the car. Because again, how long has this Mark II been sitting at auctions? I do know that the clear coat is going to peel off once I hit it with the pressure washer, but it's all good. I'm gonna hit up my painter, John, and see if we can do like a nice blending in with the clear coat, just for the time being. First wash completed, got a lot of that seagull shit out. A lot of just weird tough spots came out. Honestly, the Mark II's exterior is near flawless. After washing it, there are a couple of dents. It's not bad, that's actually the first one I found besides whatever you wanna consider that. The roof, honestly, I wanna say like 9.5 out of 10. The Mark II is remarkable. It's in great shape. Look at all the crap that came out. I also went ahead and power washed some of the undercarriage. A lot of beach sand or dirt came out. And there's like a lot of like weird soot coming from the bottom of here. I think it's just like either this rubber dematerializing or just shit that's been stuck in there for God knows how long, but Mark II is, again, exterior-wise, 8.7. It looks super clean, especially in golden hour. Look at this. This is insane. <laughs> but I did, I did forget to wipe the window down. But incredibly happy with the exterior's condition of the Mark II. Now I'm gonna go ahead and foam the car again and go ahead and decontaminate all the paint. All right, just got done decontaminating every square inch of the Mark II. Paint, headlights, the windshield, the moonroof, sunroof, anything that had clear coat on it is 100% decontaminated. Mark II completely transformed after that double wash. It is crazy how, honestly, well the paint is, I'm not gonna lie. And then I finally got the chalk paint off the front windshield, used a paint scraper and a ton of window cleaner as lubricant so I didn't scratch the glass. I do need to go over this with the water treatment compound, but other than that guys, the Mark II is looking so clean, I cannot wait. I'm incredibly stoked. At this point, I'm going to polish up this headlight because I did this one the other day. Once that's done, I'm just going to park it, go over it once more, make sure everything is nice and dry, wait till tomorrow until my polishers come in and we will begin the paint correction process. Honestly, it's probably gonna take me a couple of days because I want this to be as perfect as it possibly can be. And then there's a handful of spots that doesn't have clear coat, so I'll have to mask that off real well and skip over that. But I can't wait to get this like extra soot off and revitalize more of the clear coat. All right, did another once over. Mark II was good, just got done polishing the headlamps. Looking good. Tomorrow, I'll do them again and ceramic coat them. Ooh, these are nice. Sorry I'm like gawking over the Mark II spin. I'm just incredibly stoked on how well everything came out and I know once I start polishing and get that weird soot off, this thing's gonna shine even more. I cannot wait. But we do have some more exposed clear coat spots. And then whatever this is, honestly, the camera will pick it up. Not feeling that, hopefully I can take that out. 
But if not, next year I do plan on respraying the Mark II. We are back, it is the next day, and we got a couple of goodies. A huge shout out to Adams Polish for the speedy shipping. Bought a brand new 15 millimeter long throw polisher and also went ahead and got a 12 millimeter long throw polisher for those tight spaces. Now that we have everything, we can go ahead and start paint correcting the whole entire Mark II. Every square inch I am going to ceramic except for the spots on the car that don't have clear coat unfortunately, but like I mentioned in this video, the Mark II is pretty solid. Not a whole lot of dents, not a whole lot of dings. Besides this, still gonna ceramic coat it because there's clear coat on it. But stuff like the door here, Sucks, I can't really work with that, but I'll work around it. Fortunately, unfortunately, and then like we saw in the previous clips, breaks my heart how neglected this Mark II was. But we're gonna make this thing 100% factory, brand new, I cannot wait. I wish you guys can see this paint in person. It is literally so flat and so flawless. My God. Camera just does not do justice, especially with the sliding, but definitely in person, it'll be a huge transformation. It is, like I mentioned, pro white, and there's this beautiful teal blue hue to it from all the pearls after paint correcting it and getting that clear coat a little bit more flatter but it is just so good so the front guards are done and also the hood next i'm gonna hit it with the 12 millimeter polisher to the best of my abilities as you can see here this is cracked so i'm going to avoid that at all costs so i don't ruin my pads and then the passenger side front guard is good we got some clear coat chipping here and there but everything else came out amazing. I cannot wait. I cannot emphasize just how excited I am. And again, sorry, I'm just gawking over this paint. It's just such a transformation is going to happen between now and the next year. Update, just got done with half of the Mark II. Came out amazing. Did the mirrors, doors are done. The rocker panel is done, passenger door. I did half of the roof. Got a lot of that fallout, soot, clay, whatever you want to call it off the surface. This pillar came out amazing. Half the trunk and half the wing are done as well. And also the rear quarter came out really, really well. And I have to say investing in the 12 milli polisher was by far one of my greatest detailing investments. Really helps with getting the pillars in between the moonroof and the pillar. And just like those hard to reach areas where the 15 mil is too big, like the mirror here, also works wonders with the headlamps as well. Just got done with 90% of the exterior. Guard done, doors done, other half of the roof is done, looking beautiful, pillar good. Rear quarter good, gas door. Other half of the trunk came out flawless. All I need to do now is the trunk itself, bottom portion and the bottom bumper and rear lip. I'll do that tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to 
hit all the glass, get it ready for ceramic coating, going to do my best to remove all the hard water spots. And to those who always ask me what I use for hard water spots, I just use Meguiar's water spot remover. You can buy this at O'Reilly's, AutoZones, or any other auto parts store that carries detail products. I use a very soft foam pad, not this cutting pad, and I use it on a low to medium setting. And it, 99% of the time, removes all of the hard water that's on the glass. It is the next day, and the Mark II is done curing, and oh my God, it looks incredible. The Mark II looks absolutely insane. Pictures in this camera does not do justice with the pearl white paint. But my God, it just feels clean looking at it. I don't think the camera will be picking up that pearl at all, but it is absolutely beautiful. I am incredibly proud of myself with this one. The paint is different during golden hour. Oh, I cannot wait to get new wheels, coilovers that'll go lower, and that's all I need to make the Mark II where I want it. In the meantime, of course in time we'll do a full BN or maybe even a full Vertex kit, but the project right now is just to make the Mark II mechanically sound. So again, I just did a two-stage paint correction, a full ceramic coat, polished up the windows, removed as much of the hard water spots as I could, ceramic coated those as well, took the corner and headlights out, got underneath there as well. We got new tires, ceramic coated those. And again, it just came out absolutely amazing. All right, that is going to conclude the paint correction portion of this video. Again, I cannot emphasize this enough. The Mark II looks absolutely amazing. The pictures and cam camera videos don't do justice on how fluorescent and vibrant the pearls are in the paint. I think I did an amazing job. And again, if you're local here in Tucson, Arizona and need your car detailed, hit me up. I am your boy. So the next thing on our checklist is to do the engine maintenance, spark plugs, wires, coil packs should all be coming here tomorrow. I will be changing out the engine oil and doing an engine flush. I will show you that canister in the next video that I purchased from Liqui Molly. I'm going to be doing the coolant flush once my Gretti radiator hoses and my SAR low temp thermostat come in, which is within the next hopefully two weeks. Then I'm waiting on my full Project Mew brake system overhaul, which should be coming again mid-September within a couple of weeks and from there I think we'll be okay once I do the radiator flush I'm gonna take literally everything out deep clean the fan deep clean the engine bay clean the head and block out make sure there's no oil residue because when I start the car and I sit in it I smell like a little bit of burning oil it's hilarious but the Mark II was doing good I'm going to do a full bolt check on just every nut and bolt on the chassis, intercooler, anything that's a note bolt nut, we're going to tighten up. And from there, I think we should be good. But other than that, guys, thank you so very much for the continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel too, you want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch the next video. Take care.